This is Disneyland News Today. I'm Tom Corliss here now with the top Disneyland Resort stories for October 20th, 2022. Magic Band Plus has officially launched at the Disneyland Resort, so we thought we'd offer a brief look at how the park entry process works with the new bands. Luckily, our reporter had little difficulty entering Disneyland using their Magic Band Plus. Given that this is the first week they're officially active, there's still a bit of a learning curve. A cast member held their device in various positions near the Magic Band Plus, even tapping it before it registered. That's right, it is just, they're just using the phones, tapping them against the bands. Earlier in that day, our reporter linked her Magic Band Plus to her iPhone and had no issue getting in, but another member of her party couldn't get their band to link with their Android device. As we learned, Android devices have a separate option to enable or disable the Near Field Communication or NFC reader, which is how it initially registers the Magic Band connection, so you may need to turn that on manually before going into pairing mode. Of course, a reminder, Magic Band Plus has arrived at Disneyland Resort uh, early for some groups. It will debut officially on October 26th. And now we're going to unbox a Magic Band Plus and show you all the details. Uh, we chose the Disneyland Resort exclusive fireworks Magic Band Plus. You can see all the, we'll talk about all the options after this. The boxes are marked, quote, works with Alexa, referring to Amazon Alexa. No details have been released, but the bands are likely intended to connect to the Hey Disney Alexa feature when it launches. It's been delayed for quite some time. We're not sure when that's going to happen. A reminder that Magic Band Plus are not eligible for refunds, returns, or exchanges. Instructions for fitting the band to your wrist size are on the back, and a QR code leads you to disneyparks.disney.go.com slash magicbandplus for more information. If you're like me, you are still really, uh, really humored by the fact that .go.com is still a thing. I can't believe that. Unlike the regular Magic Bands, Magic Band Plus must be charged for use comes with a charger and USB cord. A reminder, though, that it'll work for some RFID tapping things, but uh, for all the functions, you do need to have it charged. To charge the charge of Magic Band Plus, you snap the band into the charger with the Mickey icon in the center. The band will likely need to be charged after purchase and possibly even several times a day. We recommend bringing a portable battery charger, especially if you want to play with two bounty hunters. On the back, you can see where the charger will match up with the band. Now that you've got your Magic Band Plus unboxed and charged, check out our full guide to linking and setting it up on the Disneyland app. You can find all that at DisneylandNewsToday.com. So let's talk about the Magic Band designs that are actually available. There are five exclusive to the Disneyland Resort, plus a limited release Black Panther Wakanda Forever Magic Band Plus that is not yet available at the Walt Disney World Resort. They come in three price categories. A limit of two of each style per Magic Band Plus per person is in effect. Let's talk about the basic ones. There's a white Magic Band Plus. There's pink, black, blue, uh, Mickey, and then those are all $34.99. Then we get into some of the designs. There's the Mickey Mouse Magic Band Plus for $44.99. Minnie Mouse, $44.99 as well. The Disney Princesses, $44.99. Grogu the Mandalorian design for $44.99. Darth Vader also $44.99. Then there's a limited release Coco Magic Man Plus for $54.99 being limited release. Jack Skellington's $44.99, Sally as well. The Haunted Mansion one is $44.99, Spider-Man $44.99 also. All right, now we're getting into the designs that are only at the Disneyland Resort and are brand new. There's the Retro Disneyland Resort Magic Man Plus for $44.99. This band is light blue with the Retro Disneyland sign graphic on one side and dark blue star starburst pepper the band. The center icon features Slim Beauty Castle in white against the navy background. There's then the Disney California Adventure Magic Man Plus for $44.99, which is dark blue with white details. One side features Pixar Pier, while the other showcases Soren, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, and Grizzly Peak and Grizzly River Run. The center icon features the storyteller statue of Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse. There is a first visit to Disneyland Magic Man Plus also for $44.99. You can celebrate your first visit. The band itself is gray with colorful artwork. One side features Slim Beauty Castle at the top. Below it, Goofy is, uh, Goofy's head is stuck through a sign reading, You Are Here, uh, with a red arrow pointing at his face. Mickey is looking through a yellow balloon. Chip and Dale are on the bottom. The other side showcases the Pixar Pal Around on top, with Minnie and Donald in their tourist best below it. Carthay Circle Restaurant, The Haunted Mansion, and It's a Small World are on the bottom. The center icon is blue and reads first visit above the Disneyland Resort logo. The Fireworks Magic Band Plus is $44.99. It's black with a gold center icon, which features the classic Disneyland D. 
One side of the ban has the Disneyland Resort text logo over Sleeping Beauty Castle, and firework bursts cover the other side. Under the icon is the quote, to all who come to this happy place, welcome, spoken by Walt Disney at the dedication of Disneyland in 1955. There's then the Magic Key Holder exclusive Magic Band Plus for $44.99. This light blue band is a Magic Key Holder exclusive. It features the Magic Key logo under the icon. The matching blue icon reads, the happiest place on earth. The band is patterned with colorful blocks, each of which features a park attraction, building, or icon. The images include the Incredicoaster, Haunted Mansion, Space Mountain, Carthay Circle, and more. Uh, and that uh, art is very reminiscent of the Disneyland 65th anniversary merchandise, strangely enough. Uh, charging cable, an additional one, could also be purchased for $7.99. Do note that each Magic Band Plus comes with a cable. This is just so you have an extra or in case you lose one or whatever the case may be. Select Disneyland cast members also had an opportunity to preview the Magic Band Plus interactions with World of Color, California Adventure, earlier in the week. The experience was shared on Instagram stories by the Disneyland ambassador team. In the short video clips, you can see the Magic Band Plus changing colors and flashing lights with the show. Disney has confirmed that Magic Band Plus will also interact with the seasonal World of Color Season of Light show as well. Uh, so with all this Magic Band Plus stuff, there's some stuff that just wasn't ready at the time of recording. But our reporters are spending the day at the Disneyland Resort on the first day of operation of the Magic Band Plus, trying everything but two bounty hunters, nighttime shows, the whole shebang. So make sure you head on over to DisneylandNewsToday.com to see all the latest, all the stuff we couldn't get to right here on the news this week. Disneyland Resort Park Pass reservations for 2023 were temporarily paused earlier this month when the resort announced their celebrations for the Walt Disney Company's 100th anniversary celebration. Park Pass reservations and tickets are now available for regular ticket holders for the beginning of the event. Disney 100 Years of Wonder will officially kick off on January 27, 2023. Regular ticket holders can now book park passes for that day and beyond through February 10th. Magic Key holders can currently book park passes through January 11th. Passes will continue to open day by day, so Magic Key holders will be able to book for January 27th, beginning October 29th. As price hikes continue to mount across Disneyland and Walt Disney World Resorts, Disneyland quietly increased one of its parking prices. As of this week, preferred parking at the Mickey and Friends and Pixar Pals parking structures has increased from $45 a day to $50 a day, a $5 increase compared to before. Parking was last increased almost exactly a year ago, with standard parking making the jump from $25 to $30 at that time. After a two-month refurbishment, the Matterhorn bobsleds at Disneyland Park are back. Cast members had photo props uh, to keep guests entertained until the reopening. It reopened a little late on that day. But we rode both sides. The right side, though, seemed to be a little less bumpy than before, but Charlie could just be crazy. You've seen how he dresses, so who knows? But both, both abominable snowmen in the ride were operating. Uh, unfortunately, shortly after reopening, the ride was down. But that seems to happen a lot on these reopening from refurbishment days. You can watch our full POV of both sides of the Matterhorn bobsleds right here on our YouTube channel. You can support the entire team behind this show, including Charlie and others, by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. Special shout out to all the Wigs members watching who make this show happen every week. While the Guido photo spot has come and gone from Cars Land since it was first installed for the land's 10th anniversary in June, we found it uh, back in Cars Land now, but with a costume for Hall Halloween. Right outside of Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters, we see Guido as he's appeared off and on since June. This time he's covered in a black cloak like a vampire. I think he's actually supposed to be like Igor in this case, but either way, something Halloween-y. Now he's next to a new sign mounted on the Leaning Tower of Tires, which says Luigi's Honk in Halloween. Guido in his costume is featured next to Luigi, dressed as a doctor on the sign. The costume is made of hard plastic, so it can be easily removed for other seasonal overlays or just so regular Guido can come back. Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar at the Disneyland Hotel will be hosting two sessions of a new mixology class, Trader Sam's Mixology Seminar, on October 24th. Here's how Disney describes the event. Quote, journey to the world-famous Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar for a spirited mixology seminar that'll take your drink-building skills from ordinary to extraordinary. Learn how to make a tantalizing libation concocted especially for the Halloween season. Then settle in next to Trader Sam's fireplace and revel in a rumderful reception. 
While you linger, sip a tropical cocktail and indulge in heavenly hot and cold tray past hors d'oeuvres, courtesy of Ralph Stolmuller, executive chef of the Disneyland Hotel. The sessions will be at 4.30 p.m. and 7 p.m. The cost per adult before tax and, gratu and gratuity is $159. That includes the mixology class, the fireside reception with one beverage and tray past hors d'oeuvres, and special tiki mug not yet released to the public. The tiki mug will likely be released to the public two days later on October 26th. Guests can book Trader Sam's Mixology Seminar online or in the Disneyland app. Full payment is due upon booking. On October 24th, check-in begins 15 minutes prior to the start of the event. The holidays have arrived early at the Disneyland Resort, and we're ready to deck the halls with the new plaid holiday collection. Recently, we saw a winter holiday merchandise preview on Shop Disney, but now we can start shopping. We found the collection at the Disney Home Store in the downtown Disney District. There is too much to talk about here on the program, so go check it all out at DisneylandNewsToday.com. We even have the pricing. For the absolute latest Disneyland news, head on over to DisneylandNewsToday.com and follow us on your favorite social media platform. We're even on TikTok. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. For DLNT, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today, and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. This is Disney Entertainment News Today. I'm Rob Whiteside, and here now are the top Disney Entertainment stories for the latest in Disney Entertainment News, watch Disney Entertainment News Today, hosted by Rob Whiteside. From movies and series news, to stage shows, books, video games, and more, new episodes drop every Tuesday on WWNT.TV.